Hey guys and welcome to a different type of video today. So I got a lot of common uh, questions and random people asking uh, how do I stream? How do you stream? What settings do you use? So I decided to make this little video. Uh, it's going to be how I stream, what I use to stream and how to set it up because I know a lot of people run into problems with uh, uh, lag and borders and all that nonsense so I'm gonna hopefully summarize it today and uh, see what happens Let's see if it helps anyone yes we're gonna be woodcutting obviously no XP waste I do need that 55 <laughs> anyways let's get let's get to the video so the first things first I, I use OBS because I believe it's much less CPU intensive than XSplit and it's much easier to set up so if you have the intent to stream RuneScape I would without a doubt suggest OBS over XSplit as well as OBS is completely free and open source okay sound like a paid production. Uh, anyways, so you're going to go to, hey Firefox will open, sick PC bro. Okay, so we're going to go to obsproject.com uh, to download OBS. Easy enough, you're going to click Windows 7 or whatever operating system you're in, using, all that good stuff. Um, get it downloaded, get it installed, easy enough, problem solved. So once you download and install a software, it's going to look like this. But what do you do now? Where do you go? This is where a lot of people get get, uh, get, get, uh, get confused. Get confused. There we go. So we're going to open up settings. It's quite nice and easy. This should be easy enough. English, well, what your language, I believe it's in, I guess it'd be English. I mean, there's not many non English streamers. Uh, what, anyways, well, Jesus Christ, I'm procrastinating now. So, yeah. Uh, then we're going to encoding. Sorry, I like something just bank, no XP waste, obviously. Uh, big nerd like that, absolutely amazing. Uh, so, yeah. So we go to encoding tab, and this is where we can choose some more interesting uh, topic topics. Uh, Fuck me, I can't even talk. Make a guide where you can't talk, Ben. That's a, that's a good thing to do. So we're going to be using Time64. I believe that is the encoder that comes with it. Perfectly fine to use to stream RuneScape. So we're going to want to tick CBR. That's constant bit rate. And we want to use 8 to 10. 8, 1 to 10? Yeah, I just use 8, whatever. And this is now where your upload comes into play. So I believe you can stream RuneScape with a minimum of 1 megabyte upload. I use 1.4 because... Well, I have 6 up, but I mean, I could use 4,000, but... If I don't have the quality changer, it will be streamed up 4,000 kilobits, and if you, a lot of people wouldn't be able to watch it, it'd be buffering, it'd be lagging. So keep that in mind, lads. Even though you have strong upload, do not use strong upload settings, especially if you don't have the quality setter, because viewers who don't have as strong internet internet as you won't be able to watch and they'll keep buffering. So I think 1,400 is more than enough for RuneScape, so we're going to keep it with that. Uh, little note though, if you want to check your upload and see how much you can use, go to speedtest.net. I'm not going to load this on on uh, this video because it will show my IP but you're going to test it there your local server and check your upload the download really doesn't matter for streaming in my opinion it's the upload so when you find the upload you want to allocate as much so let's say if you've got one uh, meg down you want to do I'd probably say you could get away with I don't know 600 I and mean, you'll be able to test you'll have to test it quite a bit um, but yeah I think 1400 is more than enough uh, for quality and so people can watch. Okay, so that's done. Uh, audio, you always want to use AAC. The reason why I don't use MP3 is because there's quite a lot of um, issues, especially if you are also recording locally. Uh, so there's a lot of issues with compatibility and other is with... Um, uh, fuck me, what is it called? Uh, <laughs> Sony Vegas, there we go, Jesus. So yeah, use AAC anyway. The bit rate really doesn't matter about audio. I think 128 stereo is more than enough. I mean, ste what? really? It changed. Hey, I didn't even click. Okay, so that's perfectly fine. I use all that. We're going to broadcast settings. This is where it gets a little bit more interesting. So this is where you now need to find your stream key. So basically, you want to be live streaming, obviously. You want to be live streaming to Twitch, unless daily motion hype. No, it's Twitch. Uh, and it just reset again. Lovely. So you want to find the server closest to you because this is where you will be broadcasting before it gets broadcasted to everyone else. You don't broadcast to people directly. You broadcast to Twitch's server and then it goes out to other streamers. So you want to broadcast to the low, the closest server to you. So you get the lowest ping, the lowest latency, the lowest lag, the lowest amount of issues possible. So for me, obviously, I'm English, so it's going to be London. Perfectly fine. So for you, I don't know, uh, Singapore, probably, maybe not. But yeah, anyway, it's the one closest to you. And then you want to find your stream key. Now, a stream key is basically the path um, where... It's like the key, it's, it is a key to you, like, um, anyone who has your stream key can broadcast on your Twitch channel. Uh, so you want to definitely make sure no one has the stream key but you. Now to get there, you want to log into your Twitch, you want to go to your username slash dashboard, and you can also, well, once you're in your dashboard, you can click stream key, or just simply type in stream key. 
slash stream key and click show key. I'm not going to show it for the video obviously because again if anyone has the key it will broadcast on my channel. So once you have the key you're going to enter the key here and just, go, uh, 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 just enter anything. Problem. Problem solved. Done. You've got your stream key in. I nearly died then. What was going on? I nearly, nearly puked or something. Anyway, so again, I don't really mess with any any of these settings, but I know a lot of people have a lot of, especially if you're on Wi-Fi and you, your connection keeps dropping, I know a lot of people have had good results if you click auto reconnect and you put like a timeout of, uh, keep it 10 and the delay is 0 seconds or maybe even like two so that basically the principle of that means if, if the stream like drops because you lag in for a little bit or you've had a I don't know like you've dropped connection for a second or two and it usually happens and it's fine you want to put all reconnect on but for me it's wired I keep it off perfectly fine so now we're going to go to video yeah so we make sure you save all of them so again I don't really mess around with all that this is this is for like local offline streaming I'm sure you'll be able to figure this out uh, where you'll be able to save it and all that good stuff so we're gonna obviously now we're doing sure we'll apply it anyways so this video doesn't really matter so much I love how I just made a little recording file what's in there mate so we put nothing oh sad uh, so this video tab, um, tab doesn't really matter for us RuneScape streamers because we stream uh, in a different way to other games if that makes any sense because RuneScape's not a big full screen 3D hench strong game is it? it's like it's a small two and a half D like you know what I mean like so it really doesn't matter so I just mess around not too much with this you just put your graphics card in how big is the screen you're currently viewing so mine's 1080 uh, and that's really it you know you don't really need to mess around the downscale or anything like that because again we really don't use this uh, so we're gonna swiftly move on there's not much to talk about in the video tab so we're going to go to audio. So basically, the audio now, obviously, the desktop audio device is so you can hear the music play, the random sounds, maybe the RuneScape sounds if you're one of those people. Uh, yeah, anyways. Uh, the microphone, obviously, if you use mic, you want to pick the one you use. Uh, and that's really it. Unless you just push the talk like I do, because, well, uh, my house is noisy. You want to hit a uh, delay of 100 milliseconds, or you can even have a delay of 1, but I don't think that'd be very good. I just put 100 milliseconds delay, it's not much, 1 tenth of a second. Uh, I don't mess around with any boost or anything like that. You can mess around with that if you want, but I don't think it really, it just, I think it just makes it louder your headset if you're a mic even, but it's going to distort the quality of it. Hotkeys, so yeah, we're going to move on. Again, that was another simple tab hotkeys. Uh, again, if I use push to talk and you want to use it, you want to click that. So obviously you want to oh, your push to talk uh, button. So I always use just alt. It's simple. Simple, easy. doesn't make my hand stretch or anything. It's just a nice chill position to have it in. Uh, easy enough. So if you want obviously all your hotkeys like stopping recording, uh, stop streaming, blah blah blah. Well you can see the options there. Easy enough. Set your own hotkeys up. Good to go. Problem solved. Now we go to advanced. Now this is where it gets a little bit more technical, and this is why I prefer OBS, and most streamers prefer OBS to stream RuneScape, especially if your computer's uh, pretty bad like mine, because I've got a Phenom 2 uh, 965 Black Edition still, and it's a pretty weak processor. So this is where you can nice uh, change it uh, up a little bit, especially for all the PCs, and make it better if you've got a better PC as well. So anyways, the, pri the process uh, priority class I put as normal, uh, because of a pretty bad Pretty, pretty, not the worst CPU, but pretty bad. But if you have a really bad CPU and you've got nothing running but RuneScape and OBS and it's lagging, you might want to try and high. Uh, but I, th I have had no issues with normal. I don't mess around with any of this either. Now, the uh, encoding again is on how fast will it encode on your computer to send it out to the uh, servers you are connecting to, which we covered in broadcast settings. Uh, so I just put it in very fast. I mean, if you've got an ultra slow process, you can do ultra fast. Oh god, it's gonna blow up! Oh god, no oh god, it's gonna blow up again! Okay, the fuck, stay chill. Oh, god damn, something nearly blew up. Anyways, yeah, I put it on very fast. But if you've got a like hench ass processor and you can do a lot more of the processing on your computer before sending it out, it's gonna make the quality much better. Uh, so you can put it on slower. But I mean, I'm pretty sure my CPU would just like have a heart attack and explode. Uh, Encoding profile, I just always leave it on main. I don't know what high is. I'm not one to mess around with stuff that can destroy my uh, good old potato. So I just leave that on main. We're gonna bank again. Sorry, I know this is a guide, but please, please, come on, we need the XP lads. Why, why else do we play RuneScape? Come on. 55's not gonna get itself. Jesus Christ, it's so long. <laughs> so long. Anyways, back, back, one minute, back to the fucking video tutorial. Jesus Christ. So again, you want CFR, which is constant frame rate. So if you want it, if you set it to like I don't know, 40 to 50 or 60, uh, it will just try and keep it at a constant frame rate. Easy enough, easy to understand. I don't know why you'd want to tick allow 61 to 120 FPS in video settings because 
is RuneScape, and it maxes at 50 frames anyway, so 60 is more than enough. I mean, I know a lot of people that stream at 30, including me, and it's perfectly fine. Uh, where am I doing? Where am I going? So I don't mess around with any of this. I mean, if you're feeling adventurous, I guess go for it, but I don't know. Force desktop, desktop audio to use video timestamps as a base for audio time. So I'm not fully sure what that means, but cool. Yay, I guess. Uh, so again, pretty simple tab. Uh, you want to click next. I don't mess around with any of this. It scares the shit out of me. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I'm guessing this, for, this is like... Um, non-retarded people so we're gonna swiftly move on because I am too dumb uh, missed me not really Danny no, I'm joking <laughs> yeah Danny uh, so this is a noise gate I guess this is if you again if you have an issues with your microphone uh, maybe if you need noise dampening or whatever but yeah my, mine's all fine you can mess around with it if you want but attack time in milliseconds bro staying away from that I don't want to know attack time so that, that's your basic setting sorted so at this point you can currently click start streaming and your channel will go live good enough so you've got your um, your settings to broadcast that and it's gonna broadcast to your twitch so we're getting somewhere but now we need something to broadcast I mean why are you broadcasting if you don't want to broadcast anything that makes no sense so we want to be broadcasting runescape uh, so for this we're gonna go hit add scene and we're gonna call this runescape just for my ease just for my ease so we've got the first scene added as runescape but obviously we're gonna to need to capture runescape now this is this is where people struggle uh, it's really easy you just gotta Follow the guide, I guess. That's probably the point of guides. What the fuck am I on about? <laughs> so we're going to right click and click window capture. Now, this is the reason why we didn't mess with anything in the video before because we're not doing monitor capture and we are not doing video game capture. Video game capture or video capture, I guess, device because we're not using Unless you've got like a uh, external capture card. But for RuneScape, please, please shut up, Ben. Shut up. Shut up, Ben. Fuck it out. So, yeah, we're going to add the window capture. And recording. I'm pretty sure I don't want to stream me recording. Maybe recordception or something. Anyway, so we want to go to OS Buddy because obviously we want to be capturing the RuneScape screen. So obviously, if you don't use OS Buddy or if you use Rune Loader or the official RuneScape client, you want to be capturing that as the source. No, not the fucking window. Oh my god. Oh my god. There we go. Thank you. Uh, so we've got that captured. And now we, it's simple enough. All you have to do is click sub region, select region. So now you're going to get this border. And basically, you just want to. Drag it in to the RuneScape screen, 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 there we go, third time's a charm, as neat as you can. I mean, obviously you're broadcasting it, so you want to do it really nice, I'm just rushing it, make sure it's perfect. Whoa, how, how off was that? That was disgusting. There we go. So once you've got it all set up nice and perfect, you just want to hit OK. Perfect, simple enough. So now we've told OBS to capture RuneScape. Um, so you want to hit preview screen, stream, and this is what we get. Now this is, this is one of the easiest steps, but also one of the hardest if you don't know what you're doing. So I've seen a lot of people hit edit scene and drag it out, and then go, what the fuck is going, why is the borders? And what the fuck, here we drag it out there, oh nice. Nice, and then they stream like that, and it's just like, ugh, please, please stop it, no. <laughs> Anyways, that, that's, that's how I feel anyway, maybe a normal person doesn't feel like that, we're just going to give him a nice and a 99 range, very nice. Uh, fuck's sake, Danny. I'm recording that here, please. Um, anyway, so you want to hit shift, hold, shift, and simply move it about. Holding shift will unlock the aspect ratio. So, bro, we're ready to stream like this. Let's go. Enjoy. Nice. Now, but in all seriousness, you hold the shift and you drag it down. Voila. Unclick edit scene. We have a perfectly ready to go RuneScape broadcast. But, I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do as well. Like, for example, I would like to thank my followers. If people enjoy my content, I'd like to give them a little bit of a recognition. Thank you very much for following you, absolutely sexy bastard, all that good stuff. Um, so, <clears throat> clear my throat there. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting something called follow alert, which apparently. Oh, fuck. Hello? Oh, thank God. <laughs> for the potato PC blew up then. Uh, so basically, we want to go to nightdev.com forward slash follow alert. Basically, you don't have to remember all this, lads. It's going to be in the description. You can just click the bastard. I'm not expecting anyone to remember all these links. Um, so now we're going to simply click install for OBS. So first things first, you'll have to download a plugin from Nightdev, which basically uh, I'll explain a little bit later why you have to. So download it and install it and then click next. So already we have this so what's the what, what's your twitch name what's your twitch name i'll tell you twi my twitch names i'm also ben uh, and also you can have different different styles you can also have your own style if you are good at photoshop or someone does it for you uh but i don't unfortunately i'm terrible every terrible 
So yeah, I like that. I like flat and just have it red. And obviously, I like to have a little little sound letting me know um, when people are followed. You know, I don't want to keep having to look and look and look every second. Like I could be PK in and I might miss it on the preview. So I like to play a little bit of an AG, AGS AGS sound. And my little rule of thumb that could help you is play a sound that only lasts for a couple of seconds and always think: Will it get annoying after the tenth time played? Or the fifteenth time played, you know. I've heard like people have like big dubstep drops, and the first time you hear it, it's like nice. The tenth time you hear it, it's like fuck this, I'm done, mate. So try and make it not annoying if you want to sound. Also, the sound, sorry, I should probably go into more detail. Uh, has to be in OGG format, which you get a little any audio clip, and you can just go on Google and go on soundconverter.ogg, and you will get that converted easy enough. There's hundreds out there. I will link one in the description. Make you, make sure you check that out. Do you want to open it? And click next. Jobs are good and generating. So now, now this plugin is going to generate you a link. Here's a link. I'll have to change this link before I go live again, so people don't steal it. Not sure why anyone would, but rumble, rumble. Uh, so we go back here, and then now we click add CLR browser. Now you will not see CLR browser as a plugin source unless you download the plugin from Night Dev. That was the first thing you did on this site. So now we have the CLR browser, which I'm going to rename follower, just so I know. Um, we have this, which you won't have if you don't install the first files. So keep that in mind. So the URL, we're just going to paste. We're going to paste what was uh, given to us that was generated here. And the height is 580 by 110. So it's simply enough, if I can find it in all this shit, uh, 580 by 110. Perfect. Uh, click OK. And if we edit scene again, we can see it coming up here. Like, I like to move it and edit it, edit it around. Like, for honest, for for example, no one gives a shit what I say most of the time, or anyone on RuneScape. Let's be honest. <laughs> let's be honest. Um, so we're gonna put it there. We're gonna put it there, nice and easy. I should have put my friends off shun over. Oh shit, my bad. I always interrupt at bad times. No problem, Danny man. Don't worry about it, buddy. Uh, so we're gonna put it there, easy enough. But we want to know. We want to see if it works. And a lot of people like like wait until f like someone follows to test if it works and. If it doesn't, they'll never know, and they could miss people, and blah, 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 whatever. So we're going to test if it works. We're going to hit right-click properties, and at the end of it, we're just going to simply put and preview equals true, which was shown on this guide here. So now one... Nice fucking misclick, mate. This is why you shit a PK in bed. Oh, my God. So uh, we can choose. We don't really need the FPS, please. It's not that important. I mean, you can, if you're a perfectionist, change it to 60 or whatever. Uh, but when we hit OK, the follow is going to show, and here it is. Here we go. <laughs> Nice and easy. I can hear that 15 to 1,000 times and it will not annoy me. It's a shing. Done. You know? Simple enough. Now, if we keep doing it, it's going to keep showing, which... Okay, we're going broke. Uh, so this is a perfect idea, time to tell you is the ordering. The order needs to go... It should be... Bro. Oh, fuck. oh God, shut up, follower alert. Is it broken? It might be because I minimized it. It's probably why then. There we go. So yeah, as I was saying, the order is you you need to move it up. So the follow alert always needs to be over the runescape in the order. Because if it doesn't, you won't see the follow alert. Uh, so yeah, just keep that in mind. That's where I, I fucked up and I thought I broke it. Took me a few hours to figure it out, actually. Like a fucking spaz. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, we're going to remove the preview so it doesn't keep popping up every time in the tutorial. Shing! It's like, Jesus Christ, shut the piss up, mate. Uh, so now we've got that working. What 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 we need now is we need a screen to hide the bank pin or when we re-log in or when you want to watch some porn on stream or I don't know. Whatever. So we're gonna make a quick screen. So I'm gonna do another scene called B called BR oh, just nice type and BRB AFK. It really doesn't matter at this point. Just just so you know what it means. Um, and we're gonna add a nice little image. And everyone knows I love the Jim Carrey Gaga. Absolutely beautiful bastard. So we're gonna hit edit scene and again we're just gonna shift click it out. Jobs are good in. and we can also do edit text and we can go it really doesn't matter you can rename it appropriately I just meh at the time so I'm gonna go BRB old on me oh my god chill out one second please color and we're gonna click black because it's probably gonna look the most appropriate over this and we're gonna click edit scene again nope whoa we want to move it before it's changing it there we go and that is the most professional AFK screen you will ever see in your life obviously Obviously. So we're going to be woodcoin, etc, uh, etc. Et oh, I need to use the bank. Shit, the bank pin. Just click that. Hold on, mate. There we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and fucking easy, mate. Perfect. 
Perfect. Uh, so they're the pr the, ma the main pr main principles of streaming RuneScape. You shouldn't really have any problems, but if you do, lads, make sure you let me know in the comments section below. I will answer absolutely every single last question because why do you make these videos if you don't? Do you know what I mean? I want to see more people streaming. I want to see more people streams looking beautiful as shit uh, and as good as they can. All that good stuff. I'm just rambling at this point. It's 20 minutes long right now, lads. This is a fucking joke. I shouldn't have woodcutted and made this guide, but oh, who, who really cares? Anyways, lads, thank you very much for watching. If you do have any questions, as I say, make sure you let me know in the comment section below and I'll answer every single last question. So at this point, we are ready to click start streaming. I won't start streaming, obviously, because that'd be a bit weird. People are like, well, what the fuck's he doing? So let, let, let's see previous streamers start streaming. So now when I hit alt, hello, hello, can you see it moving? Hello, viewers, welcome to the amazing live stream. I will die 1.7 million times this week. Etc. Etc. Well, you see where I'm going with this. So we're now ready to stream. We are now ready to PK. We're now ready to do this and that. Hurry, hurry, hurry. So good to go. Again, if you want to add anything on the page, we can just like, for example, if you want text, and we just go fuck me. We'll go add text. We're gonna put we'll put a KDR because a KDR is like common. KDR. We're gonna go kudra 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 kudra. One out of seventy-five. That is sick, mate. So good. Out of 77 past these, very nice. So we're gonna again. I like black. You can have whatever color you want. Black, and that is fucking disgusting, Ben. Absolutely disgusting. So there's your KDR, mate. Obviously, that is the most accurate kill death ratio you'll ever see in your life. There you go. So as long as the text is over the RuneScape screen, you will see it. However, I believe the follower alert always has to be on top. Look, good job, Ben. You're putting the KDR over the follower alert. That's always going to go well. Uh, anyways, so that's pretty much it. You can add as much as you want. You can add as many scenes as you'd like. It's perfectly fine. There's other stuff like Nightbot that I will go into in another video if you guys enjoyed this. But we've just hit the 22 mark, so I'm going to shut the fuck up and I'm going to leave the video here. Bye-bye, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.